<laughs> well, it is, it, it is big, um, or it can, can be big, and it, and it is an antenna. But that's not the most important thing. What, what's important to notice is scale. What the large scale antenna system really represents is kind of a, a new way of thinking about how we use many antennas to communicate. For, since about the mid 1990s, we realized the potential of multiple antenna systems to increase the capacity of communication systems. And in many places that works. It works especially well indoors. It doesn't work so well outside in, in the large uh, macro cell environment. But what we've come to realize is if we think about using many antennas in a different way, we can use them to improve the energy efficiency of wireless communication. So, you know, before we thought that multiple antennas were going to provide us, you know, every user with a billion bits per second no matter where they were, and that turns out that given the realities of the radio propagation environment, that that's not quite going to work out. But the big contribution to multiple antenna systems may be to, to improve the energy efficiency. So who, who built it? Um, members, of, members of Green Touch built it. Uh, six companies uh, and research institutes got together to build the large scale antenna systems. Uh, Samsung, Orange, Huawei, Freescale, IMEC, and Bell Labs. Uh, we are especially uh, happy that our colleagues from uh, Korea and Japan were able to send people to the, uh, the London demo just a few days before the Lunar New Year. Uh, we understand it's, uh, it's important to be with your family at that time, and we appreciate that uh, they had people who were able to, to attend. We had members of all of the, the partners attend uh, our, our London uh, demonstration. So, oh, you can see them again. They move. Again, uh, this is a subset of the, uh, the members of the, the wireless working group who came together you know, to actually build the hardware demo, get the software going, and, and put on the whole show. So large-scale antenna system again, what does it do? Many antennas working together to send out radio signals which minimize the transmitted radio power. So the easiest way to think about this is that we kind of make a beam and point it at you. So instead of sending radio power all over the landscape, heating up the earthworms, what we do is we just try to limit it to, to a narrow beam to, so we can communicate just with you or you and use only the minimum amount of radio power required. So you can think of it as focusing a narrow beam. It's actually a bit smarter than that. It can adapt. In, in various ways, but uh, you know, conceptually, what we do is we try to direct the, the, communicate, the energy we need to communicate with you just to you and not to places where it's going to be wasted. So we'll now show a, a video of the, uh, the London demo that we did. It um, was hosted by uh, Hugh Schofield. Uh, to this, we had invited uh, members of the, uh, the trade press and from tele both telecommunications and the environmental press. Um, and uh, I think you know, what we'll see in the video uh, will speak for itself, and I'll have a little more to say about it in just a moment. So let me, without further ado, if I can find my pointer here, start the video. So Green Touch, three fundamental principles uh, one is the collegiate working together. Another is redesigning bottom-up, rethinking from the very, very basics. Um, and the other, uh, other principle is the idea of progress, of, of delivery step-by-step step towards this goal of 1,000%. Um, and what we think we have here is something that's very emblematic of this whole spirit. And I'm going to reveal now the... The, uh, and hope it doesn't topple over, the first technological <laughs> breakthrough. Now I did it successfully. Um, this is what we call large-scale antenna systems, a large-scale antenna system. And the first thing to say about this is that it is the fruit of a team uh, a, a consortium, a group of members of, of Green Touch. So it's typical and classic, and that's very, very important. Um, Huawei, iMac, Freescale, Samsung, Orange, 
and Bell Labs have all worked together on different aspects of this to develop the large-scale antenna system. I can only ask one of you up, so I'm going to ask Greg Wright of um, Bell Labs to come up and uh, show us how it works. And we first of all have to do a little bit of furniture moving because we have to put up some screens, so bear with us. So, first of all, what are we looking at when we look at this um, board? This is the, the large-scale antenna systems, and as the name uh, notes, it's a lot of antennas. But what, it's really, what it really is is a kind of fresh look at how to use many antennas to communicate with much lower energy. People have used you know, many antennas before for other purposes, but we're looking at it you know, from the ground up, how can we use this to get maximum energy efficiency? And one of the interesting results of our research is that, in fact, using many antennas for energy savings may be particularly significant. So just to be clear, this is a, each of these columns is, a, is, a, is an antenna, right? That, that's right. Each one of these uh, things with five brown squares stacked up is an antenna. And there's uh, six, okay. 16 uh, antennas in the array in total. So what was the problem that you set out to solve with this large-scale array? Well, today when you make a call on your mobile phone, up somewhere is an antenna, either on top of a pole, uh, on the side of a building, and typically that antenna is sending out its energy in a very wide sector. It doesn't know where you are. Most of the energy is, in fact, wasted. You're only in one place, but the energy is going everywhere. By using many antennas together, we can, in fact, focus a beam on you so that all we do is deliver the service you need, enough um, energy so you get the quality of service you require, but we can minimize the amount of energy it takes to do that. Okay, great. Well, let's, let's we'll go ahead with the actual demonstration because we have a, so a telephone here, so that's me. That's you. Say, uh, and I'm making a call and I'm communicating via this large-scale system. So talk us through it. That, that's right. Well, what's happening now is there's our, uh, our handset. Right now, we're, pretend, we're making this antenna system pretend it's what we have today, just one antenna on top of a tower or on the side of a building. So we're using um, well 100% of the energy which would we, we would use to today to send this, this phone call. And if we turn on more antennas, we see that the, the total energy drops dramatically. Now, to, to show that we're not cheating, if you turn to your other side, that graph in the middle is showing how much data we're sending. So it hasn't changed much. It's still right in the middle, which represents the amount of data sent on a normal telephone call. So even though we've dropped the total power dramatically, we're still delivering the same quality of service. And one of the key things is, you know, with this array, we can drop the total energy about a factor of 16. That's the total energy. So even though we're turning on more antennas, the, amount of, the total amount of radio power we're using is less. And a particularly interesting research result is that as you continue to double the number of antennas, every time you double the number of antennas, you can have the amount of radio power required. And we can continue to do that many times. But what, what is the secret? Because clearly it's, it's not simply a question of just piling up more and more antenna. No, no, it's actually all, all down here in the bottom of this box. There, there's a computer program which is running, which is constantly adjusting all of these antennas so as to form that beam, to make it follow the user wherever it is. If you're standing out in a field and can see the tower, it will just make a beam straight to you. But if you're in a complicated environment, in a city, maybe it'll bounce a beam off of a building to get to you. It will adapt to whatever is necessary to get the signal to you with a minimum amount of energy. And, and it will be doing this to all, I mean, all the individual users in a given area will have his or her beam on them. That's right. It can do this for many users simultaneously. So the key question then is, what contribution will this make to the famous Green Touch goal? Well, it's, uh, it's what we said we would do. It's something that works. 
And what we see it as is the first of a, a toolkit of technologies which our members can use to build networks which will realize Green Touch's goal of a thousand-fold improvement in energy efficiency. And just to be quite clear, this is not a mock-up. This is... This is no, it's sending bits through the air right in front of you. It's working. Okay, great. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. You need to move in this direction here. With practice, maybe I can be as good as the guy on the left. Uh, so what, what did we see uh, in, in the video? There was, uh, we saw the, the large-scale antenna system, this array of uh, antennas, and in the middle there was projected a, uh, this sort of gauge, sort of look, looks like a gas gauge or a speedometer. And at the start, we had one antenna on, and in, it was pointing up at high. We were using essentially uh, full, full power from our handset. And when we turned them all on and uh, combined them, uh, using the uh, multi-antenna algorithms which we've developed, the needle went all the, almost all the way to the left, dropped down to uh, roughly 6% of as much power we used when we only had one antenna on. In, in fact, in, in the anechoic chamber, we see nearly perfect 16-fold um, reduction in energy. And in a scattering environment, in a real environment, we see, you know, on average, a factor of... 16 reduction in the amount of energy required. So, so it, it actually works. So what, what else, what were we really seeing behind the scenes? Well, what, what we've produced as this uh, first demonstration of our technology is a real-time implementation of the large-scale antenna system algorithm. It, it does run in real-time. Uh, we, we, it, at the moment, it doesn't actually handle, uh, it only goes one way, uh, but uh, we're actually not, you know, we're not limited uh, to that in the future. We can easily extend it to uh, two-way communication. And the other thing is that we were actually, in the demonstration, adjusting the amount of power that we were sending. We weren't simply computing that we could lower the power. When we turned on more antennas, we kept dropping our transmitter power so we maintained a fixed data rate. So the idea was that we were showing for a given quality of service, we were actually reducing the amount of power that we needed. Now, one thing we don't have in the video, because it, would, it, it happened several minutes later, was that a reporter asked, can you move the handset around? We don't really believe that it's working in real time. It's not, it thinks it's, you know, the demo is fake. So we have to pull up all of our tape that holds all the cables on the floor and move the handset from one end of the stage to the other. And in fact, the power reduction was down and the bit rate stayed approximately constant as well. But you could see that as it moved, it was actually the antenna system was doing what we said it was doing. So it was adjusting the power in real time, and with all of the antennas on, we had achieved the promised reduction in radio power.